Mark has served 18 years in the electrical industry. He lives with his wife, Lisa, in their own home in York with their seven-year-old daughter, Lily, two-year-old son, Ben, and six-year-old son, Max, who is severely disabled. Max was born very prematurely at 26 weeks gestation. At one years old, he was diagnosed with quadriplegic cerebral palsy, dystonia, and chronic lung disease. Max is wheelchair bound and unable to do anything for himself. He cannot see or communicate. Mark and Lisa are currently lifting Max everywhere in the house, including up the stairs, but he's getting very heavy to handle as he grows, and this has become a safety issue. Mark and Lisa have been awarded a Disabled Facilities Grant of £30,000 for a full two-storey extension to their home to enable a through-floor lift to be built, which will transport Max up to his bedroom and wet room. The total cost of the adaptation works, including the council fees, is over £80,000, and the Disabled Facilities Grant allows a maximum of £30,000. Other funding has been sourced, and Mark and Lisa have used their own savings, resulting in a shortfall of £26,000. In addition to this adaptation, the family has been quoted £21,000 for a loft conversion for Ben. Max and Ben share a bedroom, and this will not be possible once the bedroom is converted for Max's needs. They will be extending their mortgage to meet this cost. How would you feel if you only had a stair lift that stopped halfway? What if you had to carry someone up the stairs every day? What if you cried for help? And what if everyone said no? This is the situation Mark and Lisa found themselves in with the funding shortfall. But this is where we come in, by utilising our professional participation programme. Our industry powers are making up this shortfall. Our manufacturers, wholesalers, engineers and electricians are supplying their products and services. The industry comes together for the greater good. Electrical Industries Charity, supporting our people through life's challenges.